and this is Baller Scuba with Let's Play To The Moon. This is a game that did get quite a few requests on my channel, but I have never played this game before. It will be completely blind and told that the story is quite good, so it should be right up my alley. Let's go ahead and get this started. I will be quiet while the introduction plays. Looking, Neil. I guess the introduction is done. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyway. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Well... We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He, he likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. So, they're giving me very detailed instructions here. And we have received the equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll! And I can right click to open up the menu. I can look at Dr. Neil Watts, he's a technician. Dr. Eva Rosaline, traversal agent. Both working for Sigmund Corporation, Sigmund Freud, something like that. No notes, but I do have the equipment. With a box this heavy, what's inside has got to be important. That could be good. Can I do anything more with the car? A smoking hot car. Of course it is. What does this sign say? Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign where they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Okay. So, up? I don't know which way. Left? The sign to the house points to the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist. What? So, apparently I missed that there was an arrow here, so we'll go up this way then. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Wait, why does she have the keys now? I am confused. I thought he was driving. Oh, but we're in charge of her now. Hooray. Let's try to figure out what else we can do. We just need to go up the path here, it looks like. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, we should probably find a branch. That'll be the easiest way. A branch will do. There's one. Received the tree branch. Very nice. Now, can I use it on this? Alright, this better work. What was that? I, I don't even... It's some kind of air ball. Uh, r right, we need to get going for now. Right. 
So now I'm in control. Can I do anything with the deflated ball? No? Okay. Then we'll just move on and head up to... Well, I assumed there was going to be a house around here, but I'm not really seeing anything. If I'm missing anything, I apologize, but... Hey, there's the house. We saw this earlier. There were kids playing the piano. Kids, let me in. Ma, they're here. What do you mean they're here? Are you expecting somebody? Hey, she's smart. She's checking. Who? Who is it? Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. She's got some weird sayings so far. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. They're still not answering, are they? And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. For scientists, they sure are a little bit absent-minded right now. I don't get paid enough for this. Are these going to be here the whole time? Oh, Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Wait, they're not lighthouses? I saw one. That was definitely a lighthouse. And I should know because I've done a couple games where I had to go in them. I've never seen a real life lighthouse. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Hey, this is where they were supposed to go anyway. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Whoa, dude. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not a, exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. I am very confused as to what's going on here. Why are these people being called? Why did you say death? Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Yes, pick it up. And I've received the equipment, thank you. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Like, up, oh, apparently I have to the bottom of the stairs. Yes, go. Go upstairs, yes. Was I not supposed to? Am I supposed to go exploring? Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Was I supposed to try to go talk to the kids? No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. I'm sorry, was one of those guys' names Wolf Smutter? I swore I saw that. Those kids are pretty good for their age. They're pretty good no matter what age they are. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. No, oh, I, I, come on. We go over here. And, and talk to people. You in particular. Ready to set up? Right, let's look around a little bit first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. No, you're gonna do it. Uh, let's... 
since I didn't explore before, let's see if there's anything to explore now. It doesn't look like there's anything down here. I guess I'll talk to you. Or not. I have to get closer. There we go. He's unresponsive at this point. By the, by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would worry. That doesn't sound good at all. Can I go through here? What? Oh, there's, st there's stuff to look at over here. What's this? A selection of readings from medical journals. How nice. What's up here? They're apparently the same thing. And I don't know what that is. Is there anything down here? Is this just the bathroom? Yeah, it's just the bathroom. That is a fancy-ass bathroom. I see a couple shiny things. They're just like the bottom of the stuff. All right. Yeah, turn it off. Fine, we will set up and we will do in our, our experiment on the dying guy. I, I'm not exactly sure what we're doing here. Yes, set the machine down. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Way to burn out the whole house's fuses. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. What? This is starting to sound kind of not kosher. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? Now it's definitely not sounding that. To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an old man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. So be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Who goes to search the house? Uh, who do I want to control? I'm not sure if it ever really matters. I assume it does, otherwise they wouldn't have told me, but I honestly don't know. I'll go with Dr. Watts because he's sarcastic, so I like, I like me some sarcastic guy. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. Oh, you are eminently qualified. I remember you playing Watson. Eh, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. You know, Sherlock Holmes never said elementary, my dear Watson. Never. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Okay. So, once again, let's search his bookshelf. That yielded nothing. Wonderful. Can't really do anything with this. My options are very limited here. Apparently, I need to go talk to them kids. So let's head down and talk to the kids. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. What do you got, Doc? Give me something good. Here, take this. A remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. Seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. What? Oh, it's like up here. Okay. 
Connects wireless, wirelessly to the patient's local monitor for live supervision, of course. Is this going to be something that I need to check my menu like every 30 seconds in order to do? Because I probably won't if that's the case. The controls are a little weird. I can't just do things. I have to walk over there first. Like, go here and then talk to the kids. What you want? Uh, show me around the house. Hey, your ma told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. All right, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there for to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Fine. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or I'd just tell your mother. Probably the most accurate statement of this game so far. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go! O okay. It's almost like some kind of a terrible quest to get my night started. That's how all games t tend to start for me. At least games with stories like this, not like platformers. There's that candy cane. So is do a very simple quest. Get this thing, are you stupid? Come on, man. <laughs> Even five-year-olds can figure that out. Hooray, I got the candy cane. All right, let's step down. Booyah, it's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. What are you doing thinking about inanimate babies? Oh, I just wanted to move it back. They're not letting me do that. I have to be rude and just leave it there. Okay, sure. I got the damn candy cane. Are you happy now, you damn kids? All right, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. All right, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid inside a book in the study. Fetch quest again. Is this the study? I'm gonna assume this is say, oh, I have them following my every move. Very nice. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. You know, that's like hit the lights or something. There's gotta be something that makes that worthwhile because it's actually kind of harder to see with those on than it is with them off. What is on the top here? Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who admitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Really? That's a Twilight reference if I ever saw one, and I called it a long time ago. I don't remember what video it was, but I said it's only a matter of time before girls fall in love with zombies the same way that Twilight made them fall in love with vampires and werewolves. Alright, read- yes, I have to. There's no way I can avoid this. Uh, maybe next time. Well, I tried. Okay, we got the room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. Nobody would ever read that horror of a book. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. That's a wonderful story. Just a bunch of books in here. They've nothing I don't know about, though. Do you know about loving zombies? Do you, Tommy? Let's just get out. I did it. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Is green always where I need to go? It looks like it is. Green is the marker that tells me where I need to go. That's, that's good. I like that. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Fine, I hit the light. Have anything to say? We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. 
Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Apparently this is not an American game. I don't know who puts a U in mold. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down the stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. You're not gonna, you're not gonna answer that, Tommy. You're gonna let that go? Your sister's gonna rule your world, man. A dusty pile of Animorphs books sit here. Really? Animorphs? Wow. Did not expect this game to be full of references. That is news to me. Okay, what can I do with this? Come on, you put the hand on it. What can I do? It's locked. Okay, what's in here? Colored papers. Wonderful. Once again, clearly not American. Dusty books. Unused fine china. So pretty much a typical junk place. Uh, can I open up this one? It's probably locked too, but it's worth taking a look. Yeah, it's locked. All right, let's head into the scary door. The door is locked. Open door with room key. That's what I got the key for. Okay, tell me about the funny room. It's like a cave in here. What? Are those bunnies? This is not creepy at all. A broken music box. A rabbit folded out of paper. Mm. A stuffed toy platypus. Okay, can I can I grab it? What a hideous little creature! What a, the platypus seems cute. Can I poke it? Uh, okay, what? Well, then just I'll I'll take it. Receive the toy platypus. Wonderful. Is there anything else I can do here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, these are just all rabbits. O okay, let's just go then. That is indeed a creepy room. 